Hello, Abby. My name's Amy. May I examine your eyes? Yes. There are many useful signs on examination of the eyes. An exhaustive list is in the book. Look at the head and eyelid position and consider the parts of the eye in turn. Look for proptosis or forward bulging of the eyeball from above. Now we test visual acuity. Do you wear glasses? No. Ask the patient to use their distance glasses if they use them. Please cover your right eye. Ensure good ambient lighting. Please use the chart at its specified distance and ensure that it doesn't move. Ask the patient to cover one eye with a card and read from the top down until they can no longer distinguish the letters. Please cover your left eye. If the patient cannot read down to the bottom line, use a pinhole. If they can't read the top line of the chart, bring the chart closer until they can and record this distance. Repeat this process for near vision. Please cover your right eye. Consider the lighting again and the patient's reading glasses. Hold this at a comfortable distance and start reading from the top paragraph. The card is printed with prose in type of various sizes. Record the smallest size that can be read accurately. Please cover your left eye and continue reading. And better lighted than any than those of any metropolis in Europe. Thank you. To test the patient's visual fields, sit directly facing the patient about one metre away. Please keep your head still and look directly into my eyes. Test for a homonymous defect with all four eyes open. Please tell me when you see my finger moving. Now. Hold your hands out to their full extent and wiggle your fingertips. Ask the patient to indicate when they see it move. Do this at 2, 4, 8 and 10 o'clock. Test for sensory inattention. Please point to the finger that you see moving. Both you and the patient should keep your eyes open. Check both sides at the same time. Please cover your right eye. Test peripheral visual fields in one eye at a time. Please look directly at my eye. The patient covers one eye and you shut your opposite eye. Please tell me when you see my finger moving. Now. Test each quadrant separately and compare your visual field with the patient's. You need to be seated close together so that you can hold your finger in an equivalent position for both your and the patient's eye. Please cover your left eye. Please look directly at my eye and tell me when you see... Start with your finger in the periphery out of view and wiggle the tip. Bring your wiggling finger along the diagonal towards the centre of vision. The patient should indicate as soon as they see it moving. Now. 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 Next, we test the central visual field using a red hat pin. Please cover your right eye. And you close your left. What colour is the hat pin? Red. Test for colour desaturation. Please keep your head still and look directly at my eye. Please tell me when the pin disappears. Make a rough map of the patient's blind spot and compare this to your own. Please tell me when it reappears. Now. Can you see it here? Yes. And here? Compare yes. perception of the hat here. pin in the four yes. quadrants of the visual field centrally. Ask specifically about colour desaturation. Next, we examine the eye movements. Hold your finger at least 50 centimetres away from the patient. Please keep your head still and look at my finger. Please follow my finger and tell me if you see double at any time. Move your finger to each side and up and down, tracing the letter H in the air. Look for any divergence of the gaze, which you would see, or double vision, which the patient would report. You may also detect abnormal patterns of movement, such as nystagmus.
Examine the pupils for shape and symmetry. Please look straight ahead. Take account of the ambient lighting. Continue looking straight ahead. I'm going to shine a light in your eyes. Bring a bright light from the side to shine on the pupil. Look for constriction of the illuminated pupil, the direct light reflex, and of the opposite pupil, the consensual light reflex. Look at the accommodation reflex and gaze convergence. Please focus on a point on the far wall. Present an object at about 15 centimetres. Now look at the tip of this pen. You should see the eyes converge and the pupils constricting as the eyes accommodate. Use an ophthalmoscope to look at the retina and optic nerve head. I'm going to have a look at the back of your eye. Start with the patient's right eye. Hold the ophthalmoscope in your right hand and use your right eye. Find zero and rotate the lenses clockwise to lens 10. Please look down. Gently retract the upper eyelid. Now focus on a point on the far wall. Start at a distance of about 10 centimetres and bring the red reflex into focus. The cornea, iris and lens can be seen and any opacity will appear black. Now come close to the patient's head such that you touch the hand you are resting on their forehead. As you do, rotate the lenses anti-clockwise until the retina comes into focus. Please look up. By asking the patient to divert their gaze and making your own movements, systematically examine the retina and left, finishing with the fovea. Please look directly at the light. Thank you.